This is from Mason Radcliffe. How great is the Dr. Afra comic right now? Are any of you reading it? What do you think about it? I think it's phenomenal. So the Dr. Afra comic series is one that we've talked about quite a bit on this show, and we've been very honest about it. It's one that we have struggled with reading. I will tell you that the folks that like reading it, uh, and I'll include uh, Mason Radcliffe, because you know Mason and I had a conversation mm-hmm. on Twitter about it. He just liked how it's hyper-character focused, and he really likes how Afra has to deal with the consequences of her actions and always trying to elude Vader, and that's fun. It's To me, it's a story that feels serialized. It feels like... Well, that that should be a good Star Wars story because that was kind of like the whole point of, of Star Wars in the first place. It was kind of a tribute to the, the classic Saturday morning serials. David, when you think about uh, the Dr. Aphra series, I mean, what do you think about it right now? What will you tell Mason? There, To me, this series is very hit or miss, mostly miss. There's been a couple episodes, a couple uh, issues I've enjoyed. Uh, we talked about issue 26 an episode or two ago, and I really enjoyed that one. But beyond that, I just, I don't see the love for Dr. Aphra. I don't think she's an overly compelling character to me mm-hmm. um i'm glad you clarified that so i mean if, if this is a series that you love go for it i don't want to turn you off of it we'll still talk about it on this show uh but it's not one that i i follow on a regular basis outside of knowing what's going on so we can discuss it jls comics jesse is in the live chat with us now here on uh episode 49 live beyond the blast doors jesse thanks for joining us he says that he really does like dr afro and hopes that she makes it to live action at some point, which it's a character that seems to kind of interweave between the main Mm storyline and then does her (laughs) own side adventure. So I think that's definitely possible. Jesse, I think what what Afra brings is diversity. Uh, A a, a portion of the fandom has asked for more diversity with uh, female characters, with um, LGBTQ characters, and you get that with Afra, and you get a character that has come face-to-face with Vader, has worked along with Hera and the Rebellion, and she's kind of her own woman, it's a fun story, not for maybe not for David, but you know there's some pros here. Um, again, I'm fairly new to comic books. And I've been very I, very clear on this. We, so. we should be clear, and that's what I like. about I'm not us. sure if my opinion on this series is going to be just, as good. Just give, it, um, just give it. You know, I read some of the early issues on, on this series. It did not grab my attention, and just being an average book reader, like a novel reader. Um, if it doesn't, if it doesn't get me after you know mm-hmm. two or three, you and know, things, it's not gonna do it. And it's, I'm in the same boat. I want words or pictures, and, and I this, struggle with comics. Yeah, this goes with TV shows um, and everything uh, as well. I mean, I've had people tell me, "Oh, Breaking Bad is a great show." Mm-hmm. I can't get past the third episode, and I just no, it's just not for me. Uh, but some every, people love that show. People love Doctor Afra. So I mean. I think it's great that they're branching out and introducing mm-hmm. these new characters. I feel, I kind of feel they don't so much have to always include a mainline character like Vader. Um, I think it's cool that yeah, Hera. You know, you know, when I heard you know, oh, run in with Hera, that's kind of cool. But uh, I kind of want that fresh story where maybe they're not so much relying on existing. I, you know, mainstream characters that are already there. And that's what I like about um, Afra because she kind of does go off and do her own thing, has her mm-hmm. own sidekicks, you know, Triple Zero, you know, the, the, the deadly, both of the droids are killers. They're not around right now. I won't spoil anything for you. Mm-hmm. But uh, if you enjoy this series, I'm glad you do because I think it's a comic that has a lot of people excited. And I was trying to say this earlier, you know, I like Jesse being on the comic conversation because he's not the biggest comic book fan. So if it's if it's really good you know it's good because he's reading it, you know? Mm-hmm. And then David is someone who wasn't always big into comics, and now he's very much invested in the comic book world. And I'm just a, a Star Wars junkie.